Okay, Coach Pollard, uh, great session of technique for you to start. Uh, C3, New Jersey, uh, good to see you guys here. But uh, first off, you warmed up yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a little warm. It's a little warm in here. You know what I mean? But it was, it was, it was a good go. It was uh, a lot of fun with these guys. These kids, you know, what an opportunity they have uh, with, with Cliff coming up to Jersey and giving these kids the opportunity to, uh, to be in front of all these college coaches and learn from these coaches and also, you know, just, just get better, an opportunity to be on the mat. You look at you guys, obviously, recruiting New Jersey is, like, huge for you. East Coast, huge for you. Uh, you guys, you got an Oregon guy in your team, don't you? Yeah, I was like, how did that happen? You got an Oregon guy in the team. But, you know, going coast to coast, that's important. How important is recruiting to you guys, not only Jersey, but outside of Jersey? It's huge. It's huge. You know, being in the Big Ten, you, you got to live all over the country for kids that, that fit the mold of our program, for kids that, that fit the, uh, the intensity that we're looking for, the mindset that we're looking for, and fit us academically. And again, those kids have to be able to kind of assimilate into New Jersey, into the New Jersey culture, which is different than a lot of places. Um, being able to get Ellie Azar, who was, you know, was an Oregon kid, and then he was a junior college guy, and then he went to Northern Colorado, and he had relationships with other junior college guys that we had on our team, and you know, he came out, and he, he's been able to, to fit in pretty well. Bring in, actually, and then you have a junior college national champ, right? Yep. Brandon Ritchie. Yep. And, and bringing him back to Jersey, though. He went to Iowa, and he came back to Jersey. Drawing guys like that back. Obviously, the Soriano transfer, that's huge. I mean, you guys are doing a great job recruiting. It. You know, the fruits of your labor are starting to show. Multiple All-Americans last couple seasons, yep. that's showing. But where do you see the vision this year? I mean, I, obviously, I think you can have a champ. There's no question. I know you guys have no question that. You can have two champs. What are you guys telling the guys? What, what's, what's, the, what's the deal right now? Uh, I, I think right now, you know, getting in, we're just finishing up first week of preseason. And these kids just believe. They, they believe in the training. It was the best summer that they've ever put in. Um, you know, just getting better every day and not focusing on winning and losing and not focusing on, you know, what I have to do in March, but focusing on what can I do today. You know, focusing on how can I get better today. And these guys have all bought in. You know, we have a team full of guys now that believe in the culture, they believe in the mindset, they believe in, in the system that, that the staff has put in place, and, and they're ready to win. You know, they, they don't, they know I don't have to wait to win. I don't need to be an upperclassman to win. I can jump in and win right away. And I got some of the best training partners in the country and, and one of the best schedules in the country. You know, with our home schedule, you know, Jersey is excited. Jersey's excited for Iowa at home, Penn State at home, Ohio State at home, Minnesota at home, Maryland at Yankee Stadium on November 4th. So, you know, it, it doesn't get much better than that. And these kids are excited for the challenge. You know, that Yankee Stadium one, that's, that's huge, man. I mean, that's that's – the mecca of stadiums. I mean, 27 world time world champions, the, the greatest franchise of franchises in all of sports, right? And I'm an Indians guy, and I have a hard time admitting that, but, but it's a fact. Yes. It's, you know, it's black and white, it's there, it's numbers. Going there, getting that whole thing, how huge is that promotion wise, and what does that do to you guys in this whole tri state area? Uh, it's, it's tremendous for us. You know, what exposure for our program, what exposure for our kids, for our university. You know, last year we had the stadium match of Princeton, almost 17,000 people. You know, an unbelievable job of the marketing teams and, and the programs getting all these people excited about it. And then a great product on the mat, and now we get to go to Yankee Stadium. You know, every little kids in this area grow up just wanting to go to a game there. And now you get to compete on that field. And the, the fan the fan base for not just Rutgers, but for the state of New Jersey wrestling and the, and the tri-state area is just fired up to be able to go there, and like you said, into the mecca of college sports and have an opportunity to watch wrestling grow there, not just baseball and football. There's challenges to these outdoor duels. Apparently, you and Iowa got it figured out. You, Iowa, Princeton, and Oklahoma State have the weather thing figured out. You're dialed up some good weather for both both matches. Both outdoor duels have been excellent weather. Yeah. What's the contingency plan for, hey, man, it's raining today at Yankee Stadium, and it's a typical East Coast, 50-degree, 45-degree day. It's raining. What do you do? Yep, and that's that's what the Yankees are figuring out now. They're, they're doing all – they've done all the logistics with our, with our uh, recreation teams and, and with all our – our uh, higher ups in the administration, and they've come up with a couple plans in terms of what they want to do and if they have to switch it and what they want. But you know, the plan is, you know, Goodell made a great deal with with whoever he did for the weather last year, and he's counting on that same <laughs> deal now. So Goodell, he finds a way of getting things done. So I have a feeling it's going to be all right. Day of that duel, I'm driving to Edinburgh versus Lehigh. I drive through a snow storm, right? I'm like Edinburgh, right? So I'm driving and I'm like, there's no way they're having that duel today. Right? It's, we're corners, different corners of the state, basically, yeah. right? Yep. I'm in Northwest PA, and you guys are, you know, down by the border, you know, obviously Southeast PA. I'm like, yep. this can't happen. You guys get pure, perfect weather, great crowd. 70 degrees, beautiful weather. Eight hours later, it's snowing during the Rutgers football game that night. Eight Wild. hours later, snow. Wild, right? Wrestling gods. Point blank, September 
you know, 16th, mid-September, what are you looking for in this room out of a kid? In this, you know, it's what I talked about when I was teaching, it's, it's the effort of a kid and it's, it's the open mind of a kid wanting to get better. You know, you're not just here to show the coach that you can win every go when you go live. That's great, the competitiveness is great, but what are you really here for? Are you here to improve as a person? Are you here to improve as a wrestler? And how much better do you want to get? You know, are, are you limiting yourself? I had, you know, I'm a D3 kid, I'm a D1 kid. No, it's, it's your effort. It's your effort in every position. It's your effort to learn. It's your attention to detail, and it's how focused are you? Are you really focused on the task at hand, or are you looking around, well, where's the next drink, who's taking a break, what coach is looking at me? You know, if you're dialed in and able to have, able to have that, that focus, that's, that's really important. Is Rutgers ready to kick the door down? Are you ready to be a four, five, six All-American type team? You know, obviously double digit dual wins. Are you guys ready to be there in the hunt for a trophy? In our minds, yeah, that, that's what we train for every day. You know, that's what we train for. We, we don't train to have one All-American. We don't train to have two All-Americans. We don't see a streak going there. We see putting guys on a podium every day and guys working towards being wrestling to the best of their ability. You know, and if they're wrestling to the best and they're putting that effort in, that there's going to be guys that are, that are going to achieve their goals at the end of the year. Soriano, right away, do we see him? When's the first time we'll see him in a Scarlet Knight singlet? Um, we're probably going to do what we're, we're thinking about now, doing, um, doing some wrestle-offs. So that, that we would can be, see him then. So that, that would probably be the first time. Yeah, we haven't set a date yet, but that's, you know, the, uh, Coach Goodell is, is in, uh, in talks now about setting up a date of what we're going to do wrestle-off-wise, and that's probably when you see him. Yeah, so when will we see him? January? Uh, hopefully December. You know, right now, again, he's one day at a time. He's controlling what he can control. Uh, in, in terms of how his body feels, and he's doing his rehab and doing everything he can, and he's uh, you know he's excited, you know he, he's excited, and he's he's a huge leader of this team, um, and the, the guys look to him, and he, he embraces that role, and uh, you know he just wants to be there for for his team and, and finish his career the way that everyone knows he's capable. of. Culturally, we were talking about that earlier. He said to Julius, he said Mackle, um, in, in assimilating to Jersey culture. How much did my Uber ride cost last night from LaGuardia to Fairlawn, New Jersey? 22 miles. How much did it cost? $145. 148 bucks. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was 100 bucks plus the tolls. That's crazy. Imagine what people live, pay to live here. It's wild. All right, Coach. You got to ride uh, about an hour ride back down to, to Rutgers. You got anything else for me? No, man. Really appreciate what Flo does. And, um, you know, thanks a lot for everything. And, you know, looking forward to a great year.